Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for clicking into this video. I hope that you will stay and subscribe and join our little tribe here on YouTube. So my name is Chelsea, and I am currently 20 weeks, a few days, pregnant with our first baby, a little girl, and we are so excited to meet her on May the 4th in 2019. So if you want to see how I've been doing the past couple weeks, this will be an update for weeks 19 and 20. Um, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so first off, as you guys can see behind me, we got the crib set up. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And I don't know if I told you that this already, I think I did, but um, this crib was given to us by um, one of our friends and the mattress pad as well. And it's like basically in perfect condition. So I'm super excited about that. Um, it has like a couple little chips, but, chips, but I'm gonna see if I can go to like Home Depot or somewhere and get um, like some touch up paint or something and you know, get it all touched up and cleaned before our baby gets here. Um, yeah, so we did that in the past week and that's been awesome to have that set up and we have our little glider chair over here and yesterday we went to Ikea and got a dresser and I'm really excited to get that all set up. We have um, some little shelves we got for books and yeah, things are gonna start coming together here in the nursery and I'm just so excited to watch it come together and decorate and all that stuff. Um, if you guys want any specific videos as far as like the process of like decorating and stuff goes here in the nursery, let me know. Um, I will probably vlog a little bit of it as I, you know, like remember, I guess. Um, but if there's something specific you want to see, go ahead and let me know. And I'll probably do like a nursery reveal or whatever um, when it's all perfect and decorated. I'm hoping to have that done by the time I'm 30 weeks. So within a couple months and 10 weeks from now, I guess. That would be awesome if I could have it done by then. That's kind of the goal. So, um, all right. So as far as the stats for baby this week. I'm going to look on the Bump app. Um, I love this app. This is the one I've been using the most because I really like the articles um, that they sh share with you every day. It's like totally applicable to where I'm at in this pregnancy. Um, so let me look up the stats. So for week 20, baby is the size of a banana. Like what? That is insane to me. Um, yeah, so baby is the size of a banana, um, and she's working on her taste buds. She's gulping down ounces of amniotic fluid, which is weird. Um, she's about 10 ounces, but I want to say that, um, when we had our anatomy scan, the doctor said, or the ultrasound tech, whatever, said that she was like 14 ounces is what he was thinking she was um, weighing at this point. I don't know. That could be, I could be off. That seems like a lot. Um, but she's six and a half inches and she still has a lot of growing to do, but we're halfway, which is awesome. So awesome. And um, I think that's pretty much it as far as the little stats go with the bump app. It's just a quick overview. Um, let me get back to my notes. So every week I just answer these questions, um, to sort of like compare from week to week where we're at with baby. And we call her baby Cherick because we don't really have a name yet. We have a few names that we really love. One that we are pretty sure we're going to use, but we don't want to say anything yet because it could change. Um, so, um, Baby Cherick is her name because I'm Chelsea and my husband's name is Eric, so our couple name is Cherick. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the questions. Um, the first one is total weight gain. And I have no idea. Last time I checked was like a couple weeks ago maybe. I was 
about 15 pounds. So, um, and I think that was with my last um, update. So I'm sure I've gained another couple pounds. But um, I'm not really like watching my weight. I'm not really um, keeping track of it. I just go to the doctor. He weighs me. If there's any concerns, I expect he'll let me know. So it is what it is. Next question is maternity clothes. Yes, please give me all the maternity clothes. Um, they are so much more comfortable than um, anything else right now, obviously, because my belly is growing for sure. Um, so I am obsessed with my the Align leggings that I got towards the end of my first trimester. Um, so I'm real, really loving those still. They are from Lululemon, and um, they aren't maternity, but honestly they're amazing and I just can't even describe to you what the waist is like it's just so easy to expand so whether I'm like you know out to here or here or here like it doesn't matter how big I'm gonna get these are going to expand with me and they're still tight but they're not constricting at all so they're amazing totally worth the price so if you don't know what to have Santa get you this year and you're pregnant I would say Oh, excuse me. I would say get um, get yourself an, a pair of Align leggings from Lululemon. Whew, I'm like out of breath. Um, I've also been really loving um, basically anything I've gotten from Pink Blush Maternity. Love their clothes. They're, they're cute and they're super comfortable. Okay, um, the next question is stretch marks. And yes, I mentioned in my last update, I think that I have um, stretch marks on my chest because my chest has grown like quadruple, quadrupled in size. Let's just say that. Um, so I, my chest has some stretch marks on the bottom and I think they're getting more and more prevalent every day. They're showing up more and more every day. So that's kind of annoying, but hopefully they go away. We'll see. Um, but my chest is no longer tender or sore or anything. So that's kind of nice. And that's been the past couple of weeks that I've really noticed that it's like any type of soreness is gone. Um, cause it was bad in the beginning, <laughs> really tender, really sore. Next question is how are you sleeping? I am sleeping so good. I am sleeping great and I am really taking advantage of that and also trying to nap whenever I feel just tired and like, I could use a nap. I'm trying to just take advantage of that. Next question is, what was the best moment of the past couple weeks? Um, the past couple weeks were awesome. We got to spend a ton of time with family, um, doing some fun Christmas things and some doing some you know annual dinners and traditions. We do a tamale dinner with my family because we are half Mexican and it was a tradition to do tamales on Christmas Eve, but now that we're kind of spread out, we have our own families. It's a little harder to do that on Christmas Eve. So we just get together and do a tamale dinner whenever we can, basically before Christmas. So we picked um, this past weekend. So that was so fun to get together with family and do our delicious tamale dinner. Um, and then we got to see baby Cherik in our anatomy scan. And that was awesome to get to see her. Um, I was kind of surprised she wasn't moving around a lot. She was very, she wiggled a little bit, but she was very calm in there while they were pushing down on my stomach and um, just checking everything, her brain, her heart, her lungs, her kidneys, her everything. So um, it was a good like 20 minutes at least, I would say, that they were um, getting all the measurements and stuff. And um, yeah, she was like, just, she had her hands up like this and she was just, she just like sleeping, chilling. So it made me happy to see her so relaxed in there because I want her to be like Eric and Eric is a very, has a very mild, mellow temperament and I'm much more high strung and energetic and intense. And so I'm hoping that this baby will be like Eric. So it was a good sign seeing her super mellow in there. Who knows what she'll be like, but it was just fun to see her, of course, like highlight of our pa the past two weeks for sure. Um, the last time we saw her was 
when we were nine weeks. And so, you know, it's been a while. And when we last saw her, she was like this big and she was just like a little blob <laughs> and you could kind of like make out her head and like her body. But now it was like very distinct. You could see her head, you could see her brain, you could see her spine, her ribs, um, her feet, her little hands, even her fingers. Like it was so cute and her little toes. So that was amazing. So cool. And everything looked really good. Um, we won't know for sure until we meet with our doctor um, next week, I think. The, it's like the day after Christmas, I think, is our um, appointment. So we won't know for sure, but as far as the ultrasound tech goes, he said that everything looked great and it looked like a healthy baby in there um, and just made me so happy to see her and know that she's doing well. Next question is, are you missing anything? And no, not really. I mean, it's just been such a good week. I think it's hard for me to be missing anything. And with Christmas happening and all the fun going on with that, it's just been a good couple weeks. Are you feeling movement? Yes, but as I found out in our anatomy scan, the placenta, my placenta is right in front. And so um, that's, I'm not gonna be, like feeling a lot of movement uh, right now. Like they said that's normal because the placenta is kind of right there. But I do feel like her head is over here on my right side and her legs are right now over on my left. So I can kind of, if I put my hand down on my left side, I can kind of feel like little taps occasionally, mostly at night when I'm laying down in bed, but um, it's not like way strong or anything right now. Um, when it's weird because I feel like around 15, 16 weeks, I felt more movement than now. And I don't know if that's just because of the placenta placement or growing that has kind of gotten in the way of baby. I have no idea. But um, I try not to worry about it either because it wasn't like there was no movement. It was just like really hard to feel. Like I felt it a lot at around 15, 16 weeks and then it was like, not as much. I had to really like fill around for it after that. So yeah, we'll see um, in the coming weeks uh, when that when she gets a little stronger and bigger as that um, movement picks up. Okay, so the next question is, are you craving anything? And not really. I mean, I have just like normal cravings that I would have if I wasn't pregnant, if that makes sense. Um, so like sometimes I'll eat something salty and I'll be like, Ooh, I want something sweet now. <laughs> you know, like it's nothing crazy. I do really want like chocolate peppermint stuff. Um, but it's the holidays. So that makes sense. Um, yeah, no, I'm not really craving anything, which is kind of a bummer. Cause I wish I was like having more cravings and like really intense ones so I could make Eric go out and get me donuts or whatever. Um, but maybe I'll just fake it and make him go get me stuff anyway, right? Because I'm pregnant, so why not? Anything making you queasy or sick? Nope, and it's amazing. I feel awesome, and I feel like I don't even have to eat as often as I did. Like, I can eat, I can't eat, like, huge meals because I just feel like my stomach is so, like, small and, like, cramped because my belly's getting big, <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I, I can eat a meal and then not eat for three or more hours and be okay sometimes. Um, most of the time I do have to eat a lot. But I don't get like queasy or anything. I just get hungry. Like that is one of my biggest symptoms. So the next question is in the past couple weeks, what's like your symptoms? Oh my gosh, I am so hungry. Like I am just ravenous. Like I need food and I have to eat before I go to bed otherwise I just like I feel like I'm not gonna sleep as well because I'm just so hungry <laughs> so um yeah I was on Instagram the other day if you're not already following me I'll put my Instagram handle up here um so I was just talking about how um when I was training for a marathon like five years ago for the first time I noticed I was just so ravenous and I feel like it's the same kind of feeling right now. I'm just, I'm so hungry all the time. <laughs> 
and I just love food. But I am trying really hard to get a lot of protein and um, veggies. So I like keep kind of track of how much of those I'm eating every day. Like before I eat like a treat or something, you know, a little bit more carby or whatever. Um, I think about like, okay, have you eaten a lot of veggies today? Have you eaten enough protein today? So that I'm like keeping that balance. So I'm definitely not like withholding things for myself. Um, but I'm not like overindulging and I'm not, um, uh, like just eating junk, I guess. I'm really trying to be conscious of eating enough protein and veggies and just eating healthy foods. But if I want like, um, you know, some chips or something, I'm going to eat them. I just try to, um, be aware of what my entire diet is, if that makes sense. In my last update, I mentioned I had really tired and achy feet, um, and that is still very true. I can't stand for a very long time, like, as as I did before um, I got pregnant. Like, even when I stand and do my hair, or curl it, or whatever, that takes some time. So when I'm just standing in the same place, like, it just, my feet start to get a little achy, and my feet are a little bit swollen. And so um, I've been taking some electrolytes and minerals to help with that, and I think it's helping a lot. Another symptom I've noticed in this past week is my belly has gotten a little bit itchier and I feel like it's stretched a lot too. So I have been smothering myself in coconut oil every night um, and that really helps. So um, I'm, I haven't gotten any like special pregnancy lotions or whatever. I'm just using coconut oil and it seems to do a great job. I still have heartburn, but it's really not that bad. I have not had to take hardly any like Tums or anything. Um, I just try to watch what I'm eating that might like cause it to flare up and then just avoid that. Okay. And then another thing that has happened the past couple weeks is I'm pretty sure I've had Braxton Hicks contractions and I don't know for sure. I haven't talked to my doctor yet about it, but when I was at my last appointment, he mentioned, um, he asked if I had had any like contractions or anything. And I thought he was joking, but I think, um, he was meaning Braxton Hicks because I guess you can get them as early as 16 weeks. And I had no idea, but, um, I think it's just been once or twice once for sure. And then it may have happened again, but the first time I was just like sitting on the couch watching a movie and then my stomach started to get tight and tight and like then it got really tight and I had done a lot that day. Um, like I had been up a lot, moving around, doing things. So maybe that contributed to it, but my belly just got so tight and I felt like I could, I needed to stretch or something, but I couldn't cause I felt like if I stretched it would snap or something. So I think that's what Braxton Hicks was like. Um, it didn't hurt. It was just very like uncomfortable and I just wanted it to stop. So yeah, pretty sure that's what it was, but um, who knows? I'm gonna talk to my doctor about that. The next question is, is your belly button in or out? My belly button is still in, but I think it might pop out in the next month or two because I can see it's stretching. <laughs> so that could happen. I didn't know if that would happen to me, but I think it could definitely pop out. Wedding rings on or off. My wedding ring is on. I just wear my band. Um, it's pretty tight. My hands are definitely getting a little bit swollen. Um, so it's, it's kind of tight. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little bit tight and I'm probably going to have to wear a different ring, get a different ring in the next month or so. And the next question is, are you happy or moody most of the time? And I would say I'm definitely happy most of the time. Just, it's been a good couple weeks. And like I said, everything that's been going on has been awesome. And I can't help but just be really happy. The last question is, what are you most looking forward to in the next couple weeks? And probably Christmas, because it's like a week away, um, probably a few days away by the time you guys are seeing this. Um, and yeah, probably Christmas is what I'm most looking forward to in the new year. Um, I love the beginning of a new year. Like, it's going to be so exciting 
2019 is when our baby comes and we're just right about to hit 2019. So that's exciting. And I'm, I'm looking forward to another doctor's appointment because it's always good to check in on the baby again. And I want to hear the results of our anatomy scan, of course. So yeah, lots to look forward to over the next couple weeks. I'll go ahead and insert a belly shot now. All right, so here's the belly from the front and from the side. And from the other side, I'm on my knees right now, so this is kind of weird. <laughs> All right, and these are the align leggings I was telling you guys about. This is them rolled down, but they do go up like this, and they stretch way out, and you can roll them down. But this is the belly from the side, and front. I think I'm getting that little line. I don't know what it's called, but like that's coming in and then on the other side oh it's nice and plump all right you guys that is it for this pregnancy update thank you so much for watching go ahead and subscribe and click that thumbs up button and i will catch you in my next video bye Thank you.